Hi, I'm Dr. Jorant. I'm the Associate Dean of Student Affairs, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some important things you need to know when you're registering for first year engineering at University of Windsor. So what we will talk about right now uh, is, is the Bachelor of Applied Science in Engineering. The first year for all of our programs has the same two semesters of courses. Okay, so these are required uh, first year courses. There's 10 of them, five in each semester. And so this presentation is applicable to all of the four year engineering programs that we offer for the Bachelor of Applied Science at Windsor. So first of all, I'd like to uh, say hello to all you future Lancers and congratulations on your acceptance to the University of Windsor. We're very excited for you to begin your journey at U Windsor and would like to show you what your fall term in first year is going to look like. As you are learning more of what's required for your accepted program, it is important to understand which courses will be essential in completing your degree. And for engineering students, all five courses in the fall semester are mandatory. Required courses allow students to gain necessary information and create a fundamental base that will allow them to take further specialized courses in future years. So you need to be successful in first year in order to proceed on into second year without any timetabling scheduling issues. Even though there are required courses for each program, students can also choose certain number of elective courses. In engineering, that won't happen until further on in the program, although into second year, you will start to specialize into your majors. This allows students to expand their knowledge about other courses and subjects uh, in the different programs we have. This session will allow you to understand which courses are required and choosing your elective options, tips for planning a successful schedule and where you can go for help. That's a very important thing to keep in mind. The first of five courses that you'll take this fall is Engineering Mechanics 1, it's G-E-N-G 1110. And here is the sort of a physics course. So you're gonna study the statics of particles and rigid bodies. This will include applications like trusses, frames, and machines. And we'll talk about things like centers of gravity and friction. This course has a lecture component and a tutorial component. The second course you'll take is the Engineering in the Professions course, GENG 1180. This course is a really interesting course in terms of learning about exactly what engineering is. We'll talk about the profession itself and um, the differences and similarities between the various disciplines that you'll study, um, what academic performance and expectations we have for you, and how to be successful in your engineering program. We'll also talk a lot about academic integrity and ethics. These are all very important when you're launching a career into the, the area of engineering sustainability, public health, safety responsibilities. These are widely applicable to all the different um, disciplines and programs that we offer. There will be some technical writing that you'll be asked to do in terms of the course deliverables. And this course just has a three hour lecture component each week. The third course you'll take, GENG 1330 is engineering and the design. Um, this is a design course. So design is a very interesting word. It's something that will be threaded throughout your four-year program. Um, this will incorporate some basic sketching even. So visualization techniques, some graphical communications, different types of drawings and views, um, and you will develop something called a drafting portfolio. This course has a lecture and a lab component each week. The next course is uh, linear algebra for engineering. Uh, so math 1270 is the specific engineering sections of the linear algebra uh, course at the University of Windsor. Um, here we'll talk a little bit about things like linear systems, transformations, matrix algebra, um, and the prerequisite for this course will be your Ontario grade 12 advanced functions and uh, calculus and vectors. This course has a lecture component and then a one hour tutorial each week where you can get some assistance with some problems. Math 1720 is the final course. It's another math course. It's differential calculus um, where we're going to cover things like trig functions, um, limits and continuity, um, calculus in its, in its finest here. So um, what we're talking about here is a calculus course that will require you to, again, have both of those grade 12 maths, the advanced functions, and then the calculus and vectors. This course is also three hours of lecture and one tutorial hour per week. 
So if I can summarize here, there are five courses in the fall semester. Each one of them is required. Um, the only choice that you're going to have, you think you have when you go to register, is that you may see some of these courses have multiple sections. Now, we need to divide our engineering students into two groups. Um, if, you're use, if your student ID number ends in a, an odd digit, like 135709, then you will be a group one student. Group two students um, have an ID number that ends in an even digit. So what that will mean um, will be that when we go to the next slide here, I'll explain a little bit more. When you see a course with multiple sections that are offered, we will ask you then to be in the section that is designated for your group. Now on the Win One website, there is a forms, um, forms and resources page where you can access our fall timetables that gives a bit more additional course information like class numbers. And those class numbers will specify the section that you need to register in. So I do encourage you to go to that website and download that timetable to get the additional um, uh, section numbers for your classes. So we have a few tips uh, to help you plan for your success. Uh, and for first year students, there can be some adjustment here. So things you need to understand about being in university and studying online in the fall this year uh, will be that you need to attend all of your scheduled lectures, labs, and tutorials. Okay, being present and being engaged is very important. Meet your professors during their weekly office hours. Okay, log on, say hi, ask them a few questions about the material, and then check in a couple times through the semester just to uh, stay in touch. We also have free Win One tutorials for first year and second year students to assist with all of the first year courses and any of the core second year courses that you may have questions about. Our upper year students are available to help you during those times, and they also arrange exam, um, exam prep sessions that you can take advantage of during final exams. You can also ask those upper year engineering student mentors questions that you have about things like co-op, or choosing a discipline, um, or what kind of clubs or societies that they're involved in. You're all, always welcome to seek advising from Win One. Um, you can email us at winone at uwindsor.ca, that's my office, ask questions about first year advising, or anything else that you'd like to talk about in terms of your education while you're with us as an undergraduate student. It's so very important to do your best to stay organized, uh, keep your schedule straight and dedicate the amount of time you need to do the things that you need to hand in, but also to take breaks when you need to as well. It's very important. There'll be a lot of engineering events that are sponsored by our office or by the Engineering Student Society, and I strongly encourage you to participate in some of those as well. We look forward to seeing you um, as soon as we can in the fall. We are here to help. Um, so please uh, keep an eye on the website future.uwindsor.ca for the plan your program information and we look forward to having you with us in the fall. <laughs>